pipe sizing for more multiple appliances. So here we have our system, it's got a gas fire and it's got a boiler and we need to know how to pipe size it. Well we've already gone through the first, the first section between A and B and now we're going to look at this section here between B and C. Now if we remove it we can see that the only appliance that's going to be affected is the fire so that's the only appliance we need to size. So that pipe will run to an appliance which needs 0.75 meters cubed per hour of gas. We're saying it's three meters long and it's all obviously got uh, a T piece at point B where the gas changes direction. So we have to add 0.5 of a meter to allow for that T piece. So the length of the pipe works out like this, three meters plus 0.5 of a meter is 3.5 meters. And because we've got two appliances, we times that length by two, which gives us seven meters. So now we know that we need a seven meter long pipe, which can pass 0.75 meters cubed per hour. If we go to our table, you can see we haven't got a seven meter column. So we go to the next one up, which in this case is nine meters. And we needed it to pass 0.7 meters cubed. And the nearest we can get to that, that's above 0.7, the first point above it, is 0.85. And all we simply do then is the same as we've done before. We go back across the chart and it tells us our pipe size. And in this case, for that small pipe running from B to C, it needs to be run in 12 millimeters. So that leaves us with the last part of our puzzle, which is B to D. Now if we take it away, you can clearly see that without that pipe, the fire still gets gas. So that pipe is not carrying gas to supply the fire. It's only carrying gas to supply the boiler. And the boiler needs two meters cubed per hour of gas. So we're saying that it's five meters long and after the bend, there's two meters more of pipe, which makes seven meters, but it's got an elbow in it. And for an elbow, you add 0.5 of a meter. So the maths works out like this, five meters plus two meters plus 0.5 of a meter equals 7.5 meters. Now, even though it's after the fire, you still carry out the same calculation. There are still two appliances on the system. So you still have to multiply it by two. So now we've got 7.5 times two, which equals 15 meters of pipe. We're looking now for a pipe which will carry two meters cubed per hour through 15 meters of pipe. So we go to our chart, and this time we've actually got 15 meters, and we've got to go down until we hit two meters cubed per hour. Well, it's not there. So we take the nearest one after two meters, uh, two meters cubed. 
which in this case is 3.4 meters cubed per hour. And we do exactly as we've done before. We bring that back across. And in this case, that needs to be a 22 millimeter diameter pipe. So now we've got all the pipe sizing for our entire installation. We know from before that that's a 22 mil pipe. We've worked out that this pipe needs to be in 12 millimeters and that this pipe needs to be in 22 millimeters. If there were three appliances on the system, we simply take each pipe length, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, we take each pipe length and we times it by three. If there were four, we would times it by four. And if there were five, we would times it by five. It's as simple as that. In this case, just looking at this system, the first pipe, the first run A to B supplies three appliances because if you took it away, none of them would get gas. That little middle bit there only supplies two appliances because if you took it away, the lower fire would still get gas. And then these two pipes here only supply one appliance. Pipe sizing made simple.